There she is, the prettiest girl in school. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carolyn. And it's my farts day. Okay, I acknowledge that farts started like over a month ago. However, I did not get my main date until like three days ago. So I'm just now hitting farts for the first time and I'm so excited. It might be my favorite festival. It is just so cute. I have a couple food items I want to try, but first things first, we gotta fit. Ugh. The wind is crazy today. We have to pick up our festival passport because, duh. The design is seriously so cute, you guys. I'm obsessed. The wind is already proving so problematic. Um, hair's gonna look so bad by the end of this, but I don't really have a plan today. I have a couple food and drink items I want to try in no particular order. I don't have any attractions I have to hit. If I can make it to the animation class, I'm going to do that, but oh no, we're just going to feel the vibes here at Farts today, which is the best kind of park day where you just exist. Just outside of the creation shop, they have like the really expensive art booths. Like the definitely cannot pay for on my CP paycheck. But like, look how cute. I want this table. Never in my lifetime will I be able to afford it, but I want it. There is a new food booth back over by Test Track. It is called Modern. Like the booth itself existed last year. Like there's always been something in that location. But it was the donut box last year, and now it's something called Modern. But it all had fruit food, food, and I have a fragile digestive system, so it's a skip. But I'm getting a little hungry, so I think I'm gonna stop in the Odyssey Pavilion for the first little snack I want to try today. Plus, that's kind of like the hub of everything going on at Fart, so yeah. Looks like it's called Figment Inspiration Station, and this is where you can get the oh-so-popular Figment popcorn bucket. If only I liked Figment. It's dark, but I haven't seen this place since they gutted the Epcot experience, and there's a lot of rainbows, but I think that's just a Fart's thing. I'll be intrigued to see what they do for future festivals, but now's not that point in time. Today is dedicated to art, so let's look at some art. Important question for y'all. Do I need this? And do I need this? Because first of all, Fantasyland and the Lion King. I'm gonna hang on to these bad boys while I try to decide if I um, need them. I might, but... Your girl has a big girl expenses, and I have to not buy everything I see because otherwise your girl will go broke. It's the Dream Finder from the OG Figment. So there's a rumor that that is not just Figment, but that is like the OG animation used in the ride. And then there's another rumor floating around that this Figment up here is an original I mean, I do not love Figment. Maybe if I'd seen the OG, I would have loved Figment, but I do not. But I still think that's a really cool fact. You know, like, if it's true, that might be the bonus, not the bonus, that might be the first installment of Fun Facts with Carolyn since I've come back to Disney. Fun Facts with Carolyn, where is he? Am I standing in front of him? No, he's over here. That Figment? is rumored to be an OG figment. Fun facts with Carolyn. I went for it. I hemmed and I hawed for a minute. Like I was getting some looks because I was sitting there holding these prints, just like staring at them, but can't decide what I want to do. And I went for it. I got them both. I can visualize exactly where I would hang Dumbo, like in a house. That's the other thing I'm like, I'm 22 years old, I'm not living with my parents, like, 
have to think about like decorating a permanent place. And I got, I don't know, I got nervous. I was like, do I really want Dumbo hanging on the wall of my house? But yes, I can visual, visualize exactly where I want Dumbo. Not in my apartment now, but like in a future house. And then I hemmed and hawed over the Lion King because I was like, I have no idea I want to put this. It does not match my aesthetic. As you know, we are Carolyn in fantasy land, but I decided to get it for sentimental reasons. I'm not sentimental yet. I'm still very much loving working at Festival of the Lion King, but when I can't anymore, it'll be something cute to look back on and be like, remember that thing I did when? Kind of like my Grand Floridian gallery wall. But I wish they had it in postcard size, but they didn't. So I got the full size one. Oh no. But I hemmed and hauled so long that I'm actually hungry now and I really want to eat a snack. Alrighty, this is the angle we're working with. Um, Epcot is a madhouse today and the heart of farts is no different. Um, I got the popped art sugar cookie with blueberry filling. Basically, it's a pop tart. That's why it's popped art. <laughs> but it's one of the food stamp items. So I got the stamp. I'm very much not going to finish this because I'm not even, like farts does not exist long enough since I've had my main gate for me to finish this, but got a stamp. Anyway, let's see how the pop tart is. I'm not a huge fan of the Woody's Lunchbox pop tarts, but I've heard good things about this one, so. Sorry, she's definitely more cookie than Pop-Tart, which is not a bad thing. It actually tastes really good. It's a lot more moist than the Woody's Lunchbox Pop-Tarts are, so. Yeah, gonna finish this. We're gonna make our way around the world showcase. Gonna have the photo shoot with the rainbows. Duh. The sugar cookie was really good, y'all, but it was really, really sweet. So if you're a fan of sweet things definitely get it however if you want it to be i don't know like a more subtle like graham crackery for lack of a better word cookie that's not it but overall i would give it a four out of five just because it was so sweet but it was really moist, it had a little crunch. It was a solid cookie, but they could have made the fruit filling inside, I think a little more tart to balance out the uber sweet, you know what I mean? But let's continue around the world. We just power walked through Mexico because yeah. I've stopped in China at their food booth because there's actually two things I want to try here. One of them is like a Mongolian bao bun. Duh. And then the other is a hard lemonade that looks yummy. So yeah, sounds like a solid time. Here's the menu. I'm gonna get the pork bun and the Silk Road hard lemonade from the Painted Panda. Unfortunate angle two for two, but what can you do? So Silk Road hard lemonade, pork bun. Let's try this first because it's sunny. She's good, but I feel like I just got a mouthful of sugar crystals. So let's knock some of those in the drink so I'm not just like getting sugar rim. Okay, here we go. Second episode. Mmm, she's good. She's not a super tart lemonade. She's a little more mellow and sweet side, but Definitely yummy and very aesthetically pleasing. Now on to the pork bun. I'm just a sucker for bao, like be it in taco form or like cheeseburger pot form. Got a lot. Ooh, she's saucy. Let's try this. She's cool. 
put way more meat on her than I expected. But the bao, it was very good, very squishy on the sauce. It's nice and sweet. So yeah, gonna finish these. And like I said, we'll continue our way around. Hmm. What would I, what rankings am I gonna do? For the four bun, I'm gonna give a 3.5 out of five because the meat was a little tough. Like it was a little, it was kind of thick. It was really hard to chew, but it had a very good flavor. So I don't know, maybe it was just a, a thicker cut meat. I don't know, but it was still pretty good. And then the, oh, I'm telling y'all this one today is no joke, but I'm finally walking in the right direction. Um, the lemonade, I would give a, a four out of five, excuse me, because I enjoy a, oh, excuse me again, a more tart lemonade. And like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't super tart. It was by no means bad, but I like a really like crisp lemonade, you know? Yeah. But I have a little while to walk before my next food stop, so I'm just gonna look at some of the artist booths and maybe sounds like a band has started playing. I don't know. The music is so loud, but look how absolutely precious this is. I love it. And the rest of the booth is just immaculate. The vibes are immaculate. Let's go see if the little train village in Germany has the Barton's flags up. Because I love it when they do that. I think it's so stinking cute. They do! Look at them! I love it. I love the little details. I love it so much. There's Figment and Kane and Man Down, but Figment. I love that so much. Like it is absolutely so unnecessary, but they put the flags up for every single Epcot festival, and it's so cute. I love it so much. Those little, those little like bonus sprinklings of magic, but just make it Disney, guys. I miss the animation experience today. They only have two shows. But that's fine because Dak has the animation experience year round, baby. Granted, you only draw animals, but like, it's the same thing. They're already setting up for the Disney on Broadway concert series, which, if I'm still in the park that late, I might go to. Oh no, I'll see. There's no one performing tonight that I'm passionate about, so. We will see, we will see. So at the time that I'm filming this, this exhibit opened yesterday in the Art of Disney. I just, these dresses are so pretty, y'all. Yeah, it's way back in the American Pavilion in Epcot. They also have like expensive art, you know? Look, these are all bedazzled. We've got Encanto and Cinderella and wedding Disney princesses. And Pocahontas! But they're all sparkly. Ooh, Jasmine back here is really sparkly. I think those are really fun. I like the bedazzling. The So I'm not a huge villains girl, but look at these prints, y'all. Look at Maleficent. Look at Ursula, look at Chernabog, look how spooky but absolutely incredible they look. I'm obsessed. They do not match my aesthetic at all, but they are incredible. Alrighty y'all, the last food booth I'm gonna stop at today is the Encanto food booth because I wanna try the empanada. It was here last year and I never wound up getting it even though I wanted to. So we're gonna stop today and that's gonna be our final food booth and then we'll evaluate what we want to do from there. Alrighty, that's what we're getting. The chorizo and potato empanada. Am I gonna scrape approximately 75% of the aioli's off? Probably, but she's at 
Vibrante and Vivido in Canto Cucina in between France and Morocco. Here's what she's supposed to look like. Yeah, we're gonna scrape about 75% of that aioli off because fragile stomach, but I want to try it. I heard really good things about it. Another fabulous angle, but this time we're on top of a trash can. So I got the empanada. I'm very excited. And then the sweet lady at the stand, she gave me two stamps. <laughs> I only bought one, but she gave me two stamps. So now I only have two stamps left before I can get the finishing treat. This will not be today, but maybe I can maybe finish this now. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Empanada time. First of all, we are scraping. Here, I'm gonna come back to y'all when we finish scraping because this is gonna be a minute. Alrighty, scraping is done. There is still a whole lot of aioli on there. There is just too much aioli on the regular like dish. Ah! So windy, I'm gonna lose the plate. Okay, here we go. Quick bite. looks like on the inside. She's yummy. And yeah, I made the right call by um, scraping most of this, but you still get the flavor without all of the squirty messiness. So, I'm gonna finish this, and then I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing next, because this was my last food stop. So, yeah. Okay, the empanada was good. A little bit spicy, but I like spicy. A little bit spicy, not a lot of spicy. I get what everyone was talking about. It is a really good empanada. Couple of thoughts. Number one, too much aioli. They do not need to squirt as much as they do on top of it. Number two, I wish it had more filling. Mine had a bit of an air pocket inside, which is fine, but yeah, I just wanted more filling. So, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 just from a scrapage factor, you know? Because I had to scrape way too much off. Y'all, this is so random, but the stepsisters are in Epcot and I love it. The two of them are some of my most very favorite characters to meet. They have the absolute silliest interactions. I have not recovered from Giselle and me that Anastasia, that Lady Tremaine said that Anastasia's baker makes the wrong kind of dough. I will never emotionally recover from that. But the fact that they're in Epcot, I'm like, but I'm not gonna meet them today though. They don't fit the parts theme and they have a little bit of a line. I might meet a character today. Depends on if I do a ride. Yeah, but we're going across from France to England. We'll see what happens next. It's Pizza Pan. My favorite window in the park got an update. So first of all, Mary's dress, iconic like normal, and her hat. And then we peek around, and A, we've got her umbrella, and B, her carousel horse and Bert's carousel horse with the penguins and the fox that they were chasing. <sighs> I want all of it. I want every single thing that is in this window display. I want the dress, I want the hat, I want the umbrella, and I want the carousel horses, y'all. I know I'm at Folk now and I'm very happy with Folk and I have a newfound obsession for the Lion King. However, I'm still obsessed with the Mary Poppins literally just because of the Grand Floridian. So what I've gathered is every place I work, I'm just gonna become addicted to whatever that theme is. So far, Mary Poppins, Lion King. Y'all, I just went on that rant and look what I found. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's her hat. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm... Oh my gosh, even more, even more. It's her skirt. There's no top, but it's just the skirt. And then the hat. I feel like I can't get it though. Like, I have to get the entire set. 
I have to get the hat and the dress and not just a slight inspiration by, you know? But, ooh. I got real excited when I saw that. All right, you guys, I have officially made it all the way around the world. And I don't know what I want to do. I think that's been a running theme of this video. I know I want to paint the wall, like, you know, where you paint like your little six squares and you get a bookmark and it's usually figment. I still need to have a photo shoot by the rainbows because I haven't done that yet. And did you go to farts if you didn't have a photo shoot by the rainbows? And I think I want to ride Figment to cap out it's like this the first day. Because I don't love Figment. But if it's going to be a first day, I think I got to go on Figment. If for no other reason than he's the mascot of the festival. I absolutely love the chalk art and the chalk artist. I think that's such a cool like, skill to have. Like, just being able to do that with childhood chalk like i can tell y'all that my chalk drawings do not look like that they are the hideous monstrosities so i think that's such a cool skill That was upsetting. I thought Figma would like say hi or something. He just played a little song. I thought they like were supposed to talk to you. I thought they were supposed to say like hi. And I'm not saying have like a conversation, but have like a little blurb of dialogue, you know? About to paint the wall. I got 10. It's this orangey yellow. So my money's on. We're painting Figma today. I was wrong, you guys. We did not paint Figment today. I painted ugh, I painted Figment last year. This year, this is what we painted. It's like the balloons inside of the land pavilion, which is so cute. But it's time to ride Figment all. It's Mickey. Correction, it's Sorcerer Mickey controlling the water. Like in Fantasia and fantastic. I think that's so cute. I knew they did the little chalk out, the chalk art characters all around World Showcase, but I didn't know they did them in Future World or, you know, what used to be Future World, but it's now like World Discovery. Actually, I actually think I'm over in World Nature right now in the front of the park is World Discovery. I don't know. It used to be Future World and there was some so lucky. So, yay! But now, Pikmin. So rainbowy. So rainbowy. You got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing pigment to let the good times roll. Next down, side up. And upside down. I think I'm gonna meet Joy. I've never met her before. And why not? I'm dressed in rainbows. Let's meet Joy. She's so sparkly in person. I love it. I'm obsessed. Look at that corner. Joy was so sweet. I have never met her before. Wow, I'm getting misted by the fountain. Okay. 
Um, Joy was so sweet. The character attendant took approximately 10 million pictures. We talked all about Riley and how she's grown. She's so much taller. Sadness is still crying. What else is new? And how I look like rainbow unicorn. So, yeah. Plus, she had no line because nobody wants to ride them and, and she's in the pigment exit. So, yay! All righty, friends. I am headed out of the park. You know what would really make this shot? A monorail go by. Um, yeah, I accomplished everything I came to do. I hit a whole lot of Festival of the Arts stuff, tried a bunch of Festival of the Arts food, bought some art. Paid attention to fitness. Yeah, it was a solid farts day. Um, I'll definitely be coming back. I don't, I'm not gonna do another farts vlog. Like, I'm gonna come back to Epcot. It's just like a matter of, am I gonna stop at the food booth? Ooh, never mind. Monorail's not coming to punctuate the shot. I thought that was gonna be perfect. But yeah. Farts is still here for like another two weeks at the time that I'm filming this video. I'm gonna come back and visit. I'm not gonna do another Farts vlog, but yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. I hope y'all are ready for all the Epcot Festival vlogs this time. And yeah, I will see y'all again real soon. Bye.